what I have for you today is a Skylander <coughs> training lab sent to me by lockpickwempwinkel.nl It's a very nice part of the lock with a nice cutaway view you can see all the internals very well it has a very nice finish all rounded and shiny cuts there which gives you a nice extra point of light in the grooves so you can see everything it comes with two separate locks all pinned the same and all standard out of the box so you, if you left handed or right handed you both have a, a way of handling and looking at it uh, or you can pin these up in a different uh, pinning on the bottom there are for each chamber there is a grub screw for easy replacing of the pins so just take the screw out you can replace the spring the driver pin and the key pin if you want for a shorter one it has a nice European uh, keyway a bit restricted but hey that's European locks in general if you compare it to uh, the open uh, type uh, American type uh, cylinders. In my opinion, it's a little bit too restricted because if you take a 25 valve standard hook, it's quite difficult to go past the warding completely in the lock. So if you want to use this lock, I suggest you go for a 20 valve because that we it goes in nicely <coughs> and you can work your way around the warding very well finished there's a little riddle in there but probably there's a ball bearing here that's making the noise very nice very sturdy way better than uh, the plastic practice locks uh, way better tolerances so more uh, alike a wheel lock than the practice locks at this point they sell uh, just the uh, the lock itself for around 30 uh, euros <coughs> and you get the key with a piece and bit in with it works perfectly So let's put it in a vise and see what it, uh, how it looks like from above and picking it. So here it is in the vise. Here you have a nice view from the top. Nice view of all the pins, including the bottom pins. Very nice. Now let's see if I can pick it from this angle, because obviously this is not my normal point of view. set that feels set nice click on four and five there it goes definitely not the easiest pick for a practice lock so and that's with all standards uh, I didn't put any security pins in it for now because they're all sealed and I 
uh, want to give it away after this video so sorry if I can't show you that but as you can see you have a nice view of both pins including a piece of the spring so you have even if you have security pins in here or even uh, some uh, challenge lock pin you can actually see very well how the pin behaves and what it does within the lock so we are back here again as you have seen it's a very nice lock to pick it's not the easiest one uh, so keep that in mind uh, it's a perfect lock for uh, uh, progressive pinning just take a few pins out uh, practice on one two or three pins when you're okay with it explain it with another pin and so on and so on uh, what you don't see many uh, on many other locks is that it has six pins which is a big plus uh, also this lock is very nice if you uh, make uh, challenge locks because uh, this way you can test your pin, your new challenge uh, pin and see exactly what it does from the uh, inside so overall very nice if I may have a complaint, it, it will be the keyway that it's a little bit too restrictive for my taste, for practice like it is. Uh, so I wouldn't advise this for the very beginner, or at least put uh, uh, use the correct thickness of uh, of picks. But that said, it works and it works really good, really good tolerances. So I would, uh, yeah, love it. But if you're smart, you can also buy the Skylander pins and springs set to go with it. Because you want to change uh, some pinning, uh, use other springs, uh, and so on and so on. Because the whole point of such a training lock is to train you on security pinning and uh, that sort of things. The set goes for around uh, 18 euros at the time of, uh, of filming. So what do you get? You get one, two, three, four different types of springs, all with their own stiffness, pressure on the pins, and they all react differently. So you can also see what different kind of springs react in your lock. Very nice. You have around uh, ten springs each. Some replacement crop screws if you lose some. Because, especially in the beginning, things will fly. <laughs> some replacement, pre replacement driver pins, short ones and long ones, 50 pieces each. And then security pins, nicely serrated. So barrel pins or spool pins depend on who you ask some mushrooms and some T pins and you get about 50 of each so you have way more than enough to lose any or uh, make different setups yeah perfect so what's my idea about this lock it's a very well made perfect lock for beginners not the first beginner even though uh, they would manage it but with a little bit more effort uh, again face is good tolerance is perfect for uh, this type of lock uh, the basic lock just comes with a key. Uh, there is no uh, alarm bench with it, but uh, I contacted uh, Lockpick Webwinkle and they said they are at back order at the moment. So in the future, when you order one, there probably would be one to go. Uh, and also, one tip if you want to use it uh, go for a 24 or less uh, pick. This set is a really value for your money. A lot of pins, 
a lot of different springs, everything you need and more in a very decent price set. Uh, take a look at the website because I did the time of filming there is a nice uh, discount for uh, just the lock, the set or the combination of the two. So do check it out. If you uh, have any uh, questions or remarks or other uh, ideas about this lock, please leave them below in the comments. I would love to hear your uh, idea about this lock. And uh, yeah, have fun.